Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Abby Whitman, and if you have been a subscriber, you know that it has been a hot minute since I filmed a video. And if you are new and you want to be a subscriber, go for it. I highly recommend you subscribing, but if you don't want to, nobody's pressuring you. Um, I just want to say that I've been away for almost two years. The last video I filmed was me in this empty room, but right now I have lived here for I think almost two years, almost three, and it's completely got stuff in it. It's completely different from the last video I filmed, and yeah, this video I want to just kind of sh share a little, 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 can't even talk. I want to share with you a few things that I see in my life that I wish I could, you know, be in charge of and kind of change, but I know that I can't because I know that I try as hard as I can in some of these things so it's just kind of where I where I feel like my life is struggling right now and for a first video back on my channel that's a little like out there but hey I just want to keep it real and I want to share good stuff and I feel like this is good stuff because if it's something I'm honest about you know other people might be dealing with it too so I feel like it should just be shared and if you like it, like the video. If you don't like it, you can click off now. But anyway, I just want to share with you guys a little bit about what I see in my everyday life right now that I feel I am struggling in. Not, not every bit of this is my fault. I feel like I try as hard as I can to make a lot of these things be successful and a lot of these things thrive. But it's not... It's a two-person deal, and you can't do it all by yourself. So, what I'm basically going to talk about is some relationship issues that I have. Not Okay, let me just clarify this. I don't have a boyfriend, and that's not what I'm talking about. So, you know, if you're getting that idea, I don't have a boyfriend. But friendships. I feel right now in my life that I've put in a lot of effort in friendships, and People, the other people aren't putting any effort at all and they're basically trying to like slide by in my friendships. And if you're friends with somebody and you're doing this, I recommend that you don't because it's hard for the person that you're doing that to, to, you know, live their life and be okay. Because I have struggled. I've sometimes cried myself to sleep knowing that I don't really have a strong group of friends. I have some people that I talk to every day, but we don't really hang out. And it's hard to be a teenager in high school and not really have anybody close that you can talk to besides like my mom. She's been there for me a lot recently. Whenever I don't have anybody to talk to, a few of my friendships that I've had in the past, I have been able to, you know, basically tell them anything and everything and they're there for me but right now that I some of those have you know kind of paused and a few of them have just kind of floated on by but it's basically like sometimes when people put other things before their friendships or they say that they're friends with you and they really don't care like how how your friendship or your relationship how it's built or how strong it is because in personally I like strong friendships I like to be able to allow that person to trust me and I want to be able to trust that person and if you if you're doing this or you have these you see in your life that you're struggling as well just like me you're not alone and I don't necessarily want to offend anybody by this I'm not calling anybody out and I've seen this not only in my friendships but I've also seen this in other people's friendships where that one person tries as hard as they can and the other person really doesn't care or they just kind of fall apart and other people are there to support them but eventually some people they actually you know they go back and they're friends again because I've actually had that happen recently I had a friendship and it kind of just drifted apart for a month or two and we're slowly kind of getting back into our friendship and that's the kind of things that I like you know where you're friends with somebody and no matter what 
even if you something happens and you get mad at them or you just don't want you don't feel like your friendship's okay right then so you just kind of take a break from it well those types of things can make a friendship stronger at the very beginning of the school year something like that happened where I kind of stopped being friends with somebody for a very very long time and we are stronger in our friendship we have built a better bond with each other and recently I've had that happen as well and it it makes me feel better about having friendships and you know knowing that some people care even though some other people don't and another thing is you know if you have a friendship and you I'm trying to think I don't want to call anybody out or say anything that wouldn't be appropriate but say you are there for them you're always you know right there whenever they fall and they're not that way for you that's not really a healthy friendship you want to be able to count on each other for things that you need or you know not necessarily be there for that person all the time and it's like yeah they're there for you but only when they want to be it's not a it's friendships are a two-way thing like I said in the beginning you're supposed to be a part of it and the other person's supposed to be a part of it too it's not just supposed to be you and if your friendships are like that you know that might not be the healthiest thing and I'm not telling anybody how to live their life or anything like that these are just things that I've kind of struggled with I've seen people struggle with I'm dealing with these things sometimes even whenever I don't want to be you know and because it's always good to have strong healthy relationships because you know one day that because everybody deals with different things in different points of their life and they are always needing something else they're always needing someone to be there so whether you're hurting at the moment and you need somebody to be there for you or that person's hurting and they need you to be there for them that's always important I've had so many people tell me that you know some friendships don't last your entire lifetime because friends come and they go and I've seen that so much throughout my middle school high school years and right now I am about to be a junior and I don't have the same friends that I had at the beginning of freshman year or that I had in middle school because things change your life continues to change and you know whenever you're in high school you start figuring out who you are who you want to be and not everybody that you're friends with will support you not everybody that you're friends with you know stay throughout your life because I always believe that God has a plan for who he wants in your life and, you know, what's best for you because that's his job. That's his, and that's why he died on the cross is to make sure that we have everything that we need when we need it. And I have just been able to talk to my mom sometimes and she's there for me whenever I need to talk to her. But I've also had people there for me whenever I... I'm crying or I am in a desperate situation and I just need them but you know you need whenever you have friendships or something that you're trying to build and you want stronger friendships be that person that they can talk to and somebody else be the person that they can cry to or you know let people have whenever you are, are in friendships it's trust a lot of friendships are based on trust and I respect a lot of people because they have had so much influence on me and because I haven't necessarily had the strongest group of friends here in the past few months and I've kind of been sad because you know that's hard to go through in high school you know you want friends in high school you want to be able to go and do things on the weekends it's hard not having that but people that are there for me and they're like you know what you're gonna get through it you're going to get past this. It's just a little bump in the road. That is so encouraging because honestly, I've seen how it's gotten better. It's slowly getting better. And some things, you know, like I said earlier, some friendships I've had are taking breaks. That's fine. I just want them to be as strong as they possibly can whenever we come back from our break or our little issues that we've had. 
And if you are in any way are dealing with any of this or you see this in your own life, work on it. You know, try your best to be everything that you can for that person or try to, you know, allow yourself to accept some of those friendships that are trying to do that for you. And I really hope that this is helping people because or helping someone at least because as long as I reach one person that's totally fine with me and that's kind of what I want to um, express more on this channel because I felt like my other videos yeah they were fun and they were goofy and I want to do more of those but these kinds of things this is what I've wanted to do I've actually wanted to start like a blog and type and you know kind of hide behind the computer but it seems better to me to be able to come out and be able to talk and you guys actually hear what I have to say and know that it's from my heart. And in no way was I trying to offend anyone in this. I just want to help people. And if this helped you, I'm greatly, like I feel not better about myself. I just feel like I'm getting something off my chest that I've been like keeping in. That I, not necessarily that I want everybody else to know, but why why share your fault why not share your flaws with people so that they can you know maybe see this in themselves and work on it because that's always important to learn from other people's mistakes and learn from your own mistakes whether you sit down and think about them as much as I do because that's what I do I whenever I go to bed at night I think about everything that I've done in the day have I influenced somebody have I you know, made somebody upset because that's never my intentions. And I truly am grateful to be able to come on this channel and be able to share stuff like this. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you like it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Hopefully there'll be something else that you like. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for everyone who is con continued to stay my subscribers because I think I still have 95. And I love a growing channel. So thank you guys so much and hope to... Make more videos like this soon. Bye.